What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. For episode two of Organize with Olivia, I will be tackling a complete deep clean and declutter of our bathroom. If you guys happen to miss episode one, then I will make sure to have it listed below in my description box. But for today, I'm starting out with our bath rugs. They desperately needed to be washed. Once a month, I make sure to come in here and just do an extreme deep cleaning routine. And part of that routine is to wash our rugs. So I just like to throw them in the wash right away. The next thing on our list is to tackle the bathtub. And I have tried so many different products to clean our tub. Some of them I love and some I will probably never purchase again. But a few days ago I picked up one from the Dollar Tree. It's like a spray on foam cleaner that I thought sounded like it just might work. And if not, it was only a dollar. But basically I'm just gonna clear out our tub from all of our like shampoos, conditioners, body wash, things like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray down the entire tub. Now that I have our entire tub sprayed down, I'm just going to be taking a walnut scrubber sponge, getting it wet, and then scrubbing away. And after the first few scrubs, I just knew that this was a great combination. I don't know if it's the sponge or if it's the Dollar Tree spray on foam that's what making it super clean, but I am all here for it. Like I mentioned earlier, I have tried a ton of different products to try and get this tub clean and keep it clean, but the one product I actually really have loved is the Dawn dish soap with the vinegar mixture. I thought it worked really well, but it does take a lot of extra steps and time, so this one you can just kind of spray, scrub, and rinse. So I will definitely be purchasing this product again, especially because it's only a dollar, but as always, I am open to suggestions, so please leave me a comment down below with your favorite bathtub cleaners. One thing I'm thinking about is that our tub is like this weird material. It's not plastic, which in my opinion is super easy to wipe off. It's almost like, I don't know what you call it, like porcelain. I don't know. That's probably not right. But dirt and grime just stick to it like crazy. So I think that's why it's always so dirty and I have a tough time finding products that really work. Even Marshall still tells me how clean our shower looks and he's never said that before. So that is definitely saying something. Once everything is scrubbed off, I'm going to be filling this pitcher with water and just rinsing everything off. It would be really nice to have one of those shower heads that detach because it would make this process a whole lot easier, but this is what we have to work with. Now that the tub is all clean, I'm gonna start putting all of our products back. I did really consider buying a rack that we could hang in here just to kind of help things look less cluttered, but I didn't find anything that I loved and everything honestly just fits fine as is, so I decided to skip it for now. But once that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and use some Drano just to kind of help unclog our drain. 
I shed a lot of hair so our drain does constantly get clogged and I find Drano works the best for us just to kind of clear everything out. I just pour a little bit down, let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I make sure to run hot water for about a minute or two just to kind of help flush everything out. Now it's time to move on to the main area in our bathroom, which is the vanity. I'm going to start just by clearing everything off and getting things put back where they belong. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean off our mirror. I always like to use Windex with a microfiber cleaning cloth, but as I mentioned in my last video, I am running low on Windex and I would love some mirror cleaner recommendations. So make sure to leave me a comment down below with what you guys have been loving. Now it's time to wipe down our vanity. I'm gonna be using my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray just to wipe everything down. This is one area that I have to constantly keep clean because it gets so gross with like dried toothpaste and stuff that I just can't handle it. I honestly have been coming in here like every other day to wipe it down just because I hate looking at it. Now it's time to get to the fun part, which is organizing under our sink. Every year around this time, I just get the itch to declutter and organize, and honestly, I feel like so does everyone else, but it's so nice to have things in their place and also look really pleasing to the eye, so that's exactly what we are doing today. Once I get everything pulled out, I will be using my Method Wood for Good Cleaner just to wipe it all down. I also purchased this white rack just to help separate things and allow for easier access. I'm going to go ahead and start putting things back and while I'm doing so, I'm also making a pile of stuff that I no longer want or need just to kind of help keep things minimized. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through our baskets that we keep under here. Both Marshall and I have a separate one that we just keep our own stuff in. He keeps things like his razor, shaving cream, dental toothpicks, just random things like that. So I'm making sure that nothing needs to be tossed and I'm also kind of organizing it a bit so just everything fits better. Now it's time to clean out my basket and I like to keep things in here that are related to like pampering myself so like bath bombs, face masks, hair scrunchies, lotion, just everything to help make me feel good and relaxed. I'm really glad I took the time to go through this because I love face masks and I get stressed very easily so I tend to break out and when I was going through my basket I found like over 10 face masks that I'm just really excited to use. My all time go to face mask is the Mario Badesi clay mask. It really honestly dries out blemishes and it works extremely well when you use the Mario Badesi spot treatment right after. They are a little bit of a splurge but totally worth it in my opinion. I will try to have them both linked down below in my description box just in case anyone wants to check them out. Now I know it's not a dramatic difference, but sometimes all you need to do is just take 10 to 15 minutes of your day just to organize a space like this, and I promise you will feel so much better. But moving right along, now we are going to put everything back on the vanity. One thing I like to make sure I do when I deep clean in here is to wash out the toothbrush holder and the clear organizer that sits on our counter because they get so gross.
wipe down our toilet, I like to rotate between either the Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray or the Clorox bathroom cleaner. Honestly, our toilet wasn't too bad, so I decided just to use the Mrs. Meyers spray and a microfiber cleaning cloth. And then I'm also going to be scrubbing out the inside using my Clorox toilet wand. And I love this thing because they have the disposable pods that when you are done scrubbing, you can just throw them in the trash so bacteria is not like growing all over it. They are also very affordable, so I will make sure to have it linked down below in the description box if you guys want to check it out. couple of days I like to switch out our towels just so they are fresh and clean. There was a point in my life where I would honestly take a new towel every single day because I just hated the feel of a used towel. It honestly is still not my favorite but I've gotten used to it and it also really saves on laundry so anything to help with that. But now I'm just going to sweep in here and just get all the dirt up before I Swiffer. And I know I mentioned this like in every video, but the method floor squirt and mop cleaner is the best if you guys need a quick mop or you just don't have much hardwood in your home. We live in an apartment, so this is perfect for us instead of having to like store a mop and bucket. I really hope you guys enjoyed episode two of Organize with Olivia. I know it wasn't super in depth, but again, this series is all about deep cleaning and organizing just to help you get ready for your week ahead. Next Sunday's video, I promise is going to be 10 times better. It's gonna be an entire apartment clean with me and we are going to be tackling a ton in that video. So make sure you guys are subscribed and have your bell notifications turned on. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to leave me a comment down below before you leave. I just love connecting with you guys and I also love to know who makes it until the very end. If you guys have any video recommendations, I would love to hear them. So again, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to check out my description box as well because like I said, I have a ton of products that I mentioned in today's video linked down there. So definitely go check it out. But thank you all so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.